What's going on, everybody? I'm here with another episode of Cigar Lounge Series. We're here at Fat Stogie's in Encino, California, and I got some friends with me right over here. I got my boy Aaron. Yep. I got Brendan back there, and then I got a special guest. I got the, the celebrity right here. This is Mr. Yes. Joe McQueen, okay? And I think he was in a movie called An Hour to Kill, right? Yep, and Dead yeah. Kansas. And Dead, and Dead, Dead Kansas. And, but, it, but he's most known for uh, Confessions of a Superhero. Okay. Right? Yes, which is out now on all outlets. Amazon Prime, or you can just Google it, and it'll pop up. Okay, awesome. And by the way, he, I, I do believe in an article, you were the best part. You were my favorite actor in that. Oh, wow. I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, you're a very, very talented man. But we're going to go inside. And you've smoked cigars before, right? Oh, yes. I'm a cigar fan, you know. Okay. But, but you've never been to a cigar. lounge, though, right? Never been to a lounge. I always wanted to go, you right. know. So, hey, it's better to go with friends. So, why not? You know? <laughs> hey, I want to know, does any of, you, any of you guys know who Little Mikey is? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. I think I, think I know what you're alluding to. <laughs> All right, well, let's go inside. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna go inside here and uh, we're gonna see what this is all about. <laughs> very, very common. Yeah. All right. <laughs> this is very, very nice. Very, very fancy. All right, so we're gonna check out the humidor that they got over here we got a lot of good stuff there's our blackened that's the one that we love yeah, they got a little selection here I've, I've actually I've heard of this brand this one's called New World and EP Korea love EP Korea that's actually one of my uh, favorite brands I've had the Allegiance great cigar and I've also had I've had the pledge. That was a good one, and I've also had the. Uh, I believe this is the encore. All right, so I got an uh, eight eight eight. All three of us got that. I got eight eight eight. Got the eight eight eight, and then also Aaron over there. And then we got Mr. Brendan over just there, just uh, chilling. <laughs> so I'm gonna light you up, man. You already know what to do. So uh, yeah, this is your first time at a lounge here, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, let me let me light you up, man. Let me light you up. All right. Cool. Uh oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. How's it taste? It's like like um kind of like a sparky flavor like not too bitter not too sweet like more smooth like uh, kind of like when it's like you feel it right here but it's, it's, it's good I can I can I can taste the effect kicking in you know how would you compare that to like a regular other cigar that you have it would you say it's a little bit more on the nicer side yeah it's very more on the nicer side more milder versus you know that extra kick. <laughs> but the eight 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 guys <laughs> is what's going on, man. I like the flavor, man. So you watch there. Right on, right on. <laughs> right back at you. <laughs> Alright, so let's get Mr. Aaron right here. Let me just get you. There we go. Ooh, that looks very, very nice. Very good. Like you said, very sparky. Very sparky. <laughs> Let me see you get a couple more hits of that. Just, I can tell that you're onto something right now. It has a good, the hit's good. Like sometimes there's a drag on them. Yeah. On the cigars. This one has a good um, draw to it. Very nice. It's like the smoke comes out real good. Yeah, it's a good brand. We've had that brand before. I don't think we had the 888 before, but I remember at the Ventura Cigar Lounge, I know that we had uh, a previous one before. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying that. It's a good sturdy stick. All right. All right. Here we go. 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 Here
right, 888. Uh, the reason why I was attracted to this cigar is because um, I believe in angel numbers like 111, 222, 333, 444, 455, and then of course 888, and then 777. So that was already like a natural inclination to get it. So, and uh, yeah, so let's light this up. Can't go wrong with the 888. You feel the sparkiness? That, that kick is that like that kind of like that um that kickback a little. But it it kind of has like a nice little like um, but it's more like on the down. On the down. Yeah. yeah, that's what I mean. It's not too high. It's just right in between. You know, kind of like. When you're on a bouncing thing, with them, them tra not a trampoline, but with them uh, balloon bouncer yeah. things. You like the big booty bitch? Well, kind of that too, yeah. you know? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's got a kick to it. I like it. Yeah, I like it. It's nice. I'm going to get a couple more hits. I like the bounce with the ounce. Bounce with the ounce. <laughs> It's got a, it's got, it's got a, like it's smooth, but it's also got like a grounded spice to it as well. Yeah. This is, this is cool. This is cool. The AAA is flavorful. I like, it's got like that, if you ever, taste it like a, like a hickory like not too hickory but kind of like on a mild hickory side it's got that like you said the spicy it's giving you that little bit of a hickory dickory dock right on that tiktok yeah <laughs> on that hickory dickory dock on that tiktok yeah. the 888 is kicking <laughs> So something that might happen with cigars, it, uh, if it gets a little stagnant, a little tip that uh, we've kind of discovered very recently is um, if you just pinch the top and just puff. It gives it more of a, a flow and it gives you a better smoke. So pinch and puff if you feel like your cigar is kind of waning thin, just pinch and puff. Yeah, yeah ladies and gentlemen, always remember this. I was always told by the old school, when you see a man with a big stogie in his hand, that man is an important man. Remember that. You don't have a stogie in your hand for nothing. This is a very important tool. When people see this in your hand, they know you about business. So remember, ladies and gentlemen, Joe McQueen's telling you like it is. The big foggy stogie is the way to gogi because that's gonna show the real in you. Word. All right. Yeah, man, I gotta say, I wasn't expecting, uh, I think I'm gonna have to call you Pastor Joe McQueen because every time you talk, I just wanna say amen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, I'm just like, preach, preach. Hey, see, you know, it's like, I'm a, I'm a young man with class, man. Even though, you know, that Joe Hawk McQueen is on the other level, but when he's smoothing out, kicking it with my boy David on his show, you know, hey, I got to be real, realer than real, and let the people know it's not always hard to make it and make something happen got to be creative out there in the world. Stop listening to what people say about, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that. Remember, when you, when you put your grind on, never let anybody tell you you can't follow your dreams because I'm bear witness. I've been in the game 31 years now, so I know, I've seen the changes, I've seen how this industry is. And I, I'm telling you right now, 
It's about to change for the better. Because there's people like me, people like David, Aaron Carter, even Web Movie One right here. He knows what time it is, and we bringing it in full effect. That's right. We know what time it is. We know what time it is. We're changing lives. And we're, we're changing lives. Right, Brendan? What, what is it? What is it we do? What is it we do? <laughs> we change lives. We change lives. I'm so relaxed right now. I mean, tell me about my body language. I mean, I'm like in pure lazy boy position right now. I'm just like, ah. It's really kicking in, man. So this is uh, pretty much the overview of the lounge. Looks like they got a little coffee area over there. And then they got a they got a members only lounge over there, which is nice. Then they got looks like they got a nice little drink selection. They got aloe vera, oh, mango. Ooh. Drinks. And it looks like they got a little bottle of champagne. All right, Aaron, so uh, what's going on? <laughs> so I got some aloe drink. Uh, I think that's like aloe vera. Yeah. yeah. It's supposed to be really good for like your stomach and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's got a lot of health benefits. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it has these um, little things in it. So it's, it's like uh, bulges. You know what I mean? Or yeah. Gor gorilla jizz. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Gorilla semen. So, does it, you said gorilla jizz? Does it taste the aloe? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was wondering, you know, the aloe is the most important thing, you know. But it's very refreshing with a cigar, you know. Yeah. I might, I might get one myself, actually. Yeah. They're, they're in the back of there. You know, I'm sitting here, relaxed. Everything's going great on Christmas Eve here at the Fat Stogie, and this this this, this eight 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 cigar right here. is the business because we were saying this puts you in so much of a relaxing mood it's like you on a cloud and you don't want no one to knock you down man i mean i'm telling you man you know this is what you call a magical moment with a cigar <laughs> I think we're gonna have to instead of calling you Pastor Joe McQueen, I think we're gonna have to call you Bishop <laughs> Joe McQueen. The bishops in the house, y'all. I don't remember past this. Yeah, you better watch out, TD Jakes. I think someone's gonna take your title. Hey, I'm telling you, hey, and I know how to treat you right. You know, I don't ain't come with no BS, man. You know, we we coming with the realness. We don't come with no fake nothing. This is all natural. This cigar right here. This will make any man become a billionaire within a year, I'm telling you. What's the you, title of today's sermon, Bishop? The title of today's sermon is Get Right in 2024. Yes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Get right in 2024, y'all. You know what I'm saying? We should supposed to be taking a cruise. Everybody in the United States should be having a party, man, next year. We done went through too much, man. We should be celebrating like back in the 70s, how it used to be. Every day in the 70s, y'all, it felt like a party. Even if you went to work, you get off work, go get your little drinky drink. It's on a Tuesday. you like, damn, it feel like a Friday. Yeah. That's how I want next year to feel like every day. Like it's a party. Like, you're, like something good is about to happen. That's how you should feel for 2024. Let all the animosities out. You know, if you beef it with somebody, try to squash the beef, man, and can reconnect with your loved one or whoever is in your life that you want back in your life, man. That's what it's about. Man, this cigar making me preach good, I'm telling you. 
I ain't playing either. This shit ain't no joke, man. <laughs> All right, everybody. So this is uh, Jack. He's the owner of Fat Stogies over here, man. Uh, Encino. In Encino, yes. And, man, it was a great experience, man. Thank you so much for having us, man. Yeah, really yeah. Yeah. You're welcome, my friend. Great to have you. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, yeah, with that, uh, guys, yeah, we'll uh, we'll be back. What's the address? Anytime. Yeah, one, yeah. one, 17300, Ventura Boulevard, Encino, California. Yeah. All right, excellent. And I uh, just got another smoke on my way out, so... Uh, Enjoy it. Yeah, Enjoy the office sex. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. Have a great one, guys. You Thanks. too, brother. All right, guys. That's a wrap. Uh, thank you, Mr. Joe McQueen, for oh, coming yeah. out with us, man. I really do appreciate uh, no your time, man. It was a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah, man, how was your experience? Uh, what did you think? It was awesome, man. The cigar was smooth. The 888, I recommend anyone that's a cigar fan and wants something different and new. Try that 888, man. It's, it's, it's really smooth. The lounge is cool. Um, Mr. Jack, the owner, real real good guy. Like the atmosphere. Yeah. You'll love it. Yeah, real good. Aaron, any thoughts on the on the lounge? Um, well, if you're ever in Encino, this is the place to go. Fat Stogies. Um, it's, it's up there on our list. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. I'm really glad that we uh, came out over here. And I think uh, they also have another one in uh, Long Beach as well. So maybe check out the fast stuff over there but uh, that's it guys thanks for watching and uh we'll see you on the next one see ya